Hey guys, so I decided to continue on and finish up this um, tile and uh, so I'm just going around and I'm remarking the center of all of the four edges and I am going to square off the corners. I want to use these uh, four lines to do some embellishments. So I'm using a Phillips screwdriver and I have a couple of crochet hooks. I'm going to use the fronts in the back, the pen, the same, you know, a lot of the same tools that we used before, the same paint, the black, the pink, the white, the teal, and the metallic teal, along with some pearl and hologram. So with the smaller of the back of the crochet hooks, I think it's a four millimeter, I'm going to put a black dot on each of the uh, corners, so the center of each side. I'm going to put a black dot all along the line on all four sides there. That last dot that I put over there, I don't know why I did it. I'm just going to take it away. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm just doing the first row all the way around in the, um, the black. Now here I'm using a Phillips screwdriver and the anatomy of the Phillips being the way it is, the four grooves, um, it makes it a little bit harder to get dots that are all even, but if you just go with it, make sure you have enough paint on there, you should be successful. And frankly, if you look at my dots, they're not at all even and perfect, but I can pretty much guarantee you that when all is said and done, you're not even gonna notice that. All right, now with a pen, the nib of the pen, I'm using the pink and I'm going in between all of the teal I'm adding the third row and I'm going to do that all the way around on all four sides. Now to finish this up, I want to make like a band. I'm going to use the toothpick and the black and I'm going to go right in between each of the pink and it's going to tie it all together so nothing is left dangling. Now with that large nail head, I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to just put four random dots. I'm not measuring, I'm not marking where they're at. I'm just placing these big dots. What I'm showing you is the first time I had placed that dot, it was a little uh, sparse light on the paint, and so it looked um, kind of wrinkly, and we don't want that. We want it to be nice and plump, so that nice little plump dot there will flatten out as it dries. Okay, with the tip of the crochet hook, the part that you would actually crochet with, I'm just walking a bunch of pink dots around and then I'm going to do the teal. So I'm putting one dot down and then I just continuously move around to different spots and I'm getting different size uh, dots from large to small. And I'm doing that with the pink and the teal. And then the black, I, I don't want it to be like in your face. So I had started to use a uh, the tip of a small nail and it wasn't showing up. So I grabbed the toothpick, which is going to give me small, uh, small size too. I just went around and added a little bit of black in there. I like the way that looks. So now we're going to do a little bit of uh, embellishing, wait till everything is dry. And I'm going to be using some metallic pearl and I'm going to be using some hologram. Now using the back of my, um, actually this is a, just a regular white, it's not even a metallic, it's just a regular white acrylic. Now this is the pearl and I'm going to go over all of the white that I had done in the center, all of the little white uh, the top dots that I had done in just an acrylic, I'm going over in the pearl. So it, it just adds a little bit more dimension. I, sh I should have just done it in the first place, but I don't plan my, my projects when I dot. I just dot. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to um, make allowances for yourself, and that's what I did. So I'm putting little white top dots here and there, all in the metallic pearl. And um, I did a swoosh on the black and some little white dots on the pink. Okay, this is the color shift pink, 
and I'm showing you how thick and um, it's it's very thick. It it strings, and if you use this, you want to be sure to dot and then come straight up, nice and slow, because otherwise you could have strings of color going across your work, and that's not a lot of fun to have to clean up. <laughs> now I'm using the hologram and the tip of my nail and my crochet hook. And I'm going around and I'm just adding hologram uh, wherever I feel like I want to have a little bit of bling. I want it on the teal. You put it wherever you think you want it, wherever you see fit to have it. All right, here I have the white pearl again and I'm doing an off-center top dot on the black and I'm doing this all around facing inwards and on the pink I'm using the same metallic pearl but I'm uh, off off center top dotting facing outwards I didn't want them both going the same way I think it would have looked funny if they were both facing in it would have looked funny um, having them both facing out I think looks right so like I said before, sometimes I'll put in my hologram and then I think I need more. And this is what happened here. I had done my white top swoosh and I already knew that I wanted to have some bling on that. So once that white dried, I went back and I added some hologram to that. Um, I've also added hologram onto the black that I walked down there. It might look a little funny now because it dry, it goes on kind of cloudy but it's going to dry beautifully clear and then I went around and I put a hologram on all of the teal dots on the band now I wanted to finish off these black dots on the end there they were just kind of hanging there and I didn't know what I was going to do so when I looked at the whole picture I saw that set of swooshes without the large dot in the center actually the one that's right above it I'm going to replicate that. So the last time we saw this, I was in the process of finishing off over here and my camera stopped. So you can see there's a few things that have changed since then. Namely, and most obviously, you see that the center here is gone. When I got it all done, I popped that out thinking I was going to do something else because it was kind of messy looking. I thought it looked much better without anything there, so I just left it blank. Same thing with the pink circles, the four pink circles that I had here. I also removed those four pink dots and filled that in with some pink and teal and um, hologram. I liked the way the sprinkled hologram just kind of caught your eye, and I think it looks a lot better. Now you see back here in the center, this is where we left off on the um, original video where my camera froze. And what I did was I just continued bringing that pink and black um, outside swoosh together with the teal and the pink. Brought it all together with a white dot on top of the black and put hologram all over that. So all in all, I think the piece is really pretty. We started out with using just a tile and some nails and paper clip and toothpick and other random pieces of household goods and I think we came up with a really pretty piece. Now to finish this off because we've used hologram and regular acrylic paints and all we cannot bake seal it in so I'm going to use the Duplicolor Engine Enamel it's a clear gloss and it sprays on it withstands heat up to 500 degrees so I think it's a good fit. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be sure to answer them. Until next time, thank you and see you in the next video.